Okay, y'all, uh, Paul. Here's um, here's kind of what I'm seeing. Um, you see Grayson on the left, and I got a clip of uh, uh, Ricky Weeks on the right. Uh, it's going to demonstrate what the things that he needs to work on. Um, first of all, you know, he's got a pretty solid base. Uh, just a couple of minor things. It looks like he's sort of slipped into a couple of bad habits here that are really hurting him. Um, the first thing is. There's about three things I'm going to talk about, okay? Uh, the first thing is, if you'll notice in this sequence right here, watch his front foot, how he's kind of stepping out before he ever starts his swing. He's up, watch his uh, front foot, and then watch his front hip, how everything sort of opens up. Um, and that's kind of a bad move because that just, that's like, I'm going to swing in an extreme inside pitch, position before you ever know where the pitch is and you're done if something's like a curveball or something away if you do that first you're done uh, unless it's uh, really inside so uh, just notice how he's opening up his body look at his front shoulder how he's pulling out with his front shoulder so he's just opening up way too much <clears throat> and his hands are not <clears throat> involved in the swing <clears throat> excuse me uh, he's basically just pulling out with his body and so what we got to do is we got to keep him uh, staying closed longer and staying torqued up uh, and then also using his hands more uh, so you can just see from this move right here just everything's just really open you see how that front arm straightens out and actually when that front arm straightens out right into that position that means the hands are actually going backward instead of forward He's got to start his hands forward sooner. <clears throat> so now look at let's look at what Ricky Weeks does in in, uh, in comparison. And I want you to notice as he strides. One of the things I've been telling my students who pull their front shoulders out like this <clears throat> is to take their front shoulder to the ball a little bit longer. And notice how as Ricky's striding, his front shoulder is moving towards the ball. Notice how he's, he's uh, torqued up his front shoulders under his chin, which uh, Grayson does well, but he just comes out of it too soon, so he's got to stay closed longer. Man, take that front shoulder towards the ball as it's coming to you. And so now when Ricky gets into a hitting position, he, he hasn't opened his, his uh, hips up either. His hips are still closed. His whole body's closed, and so he's still torqued up and uh, he can start his swing from a better position. So that's the first thing. Um, now I want you to notice, I'm gonna bring in an earlier swing of Grayson's. Um, I guess that was back in the summer, maybe. And he did a much better job of this in this swing here. Notice how he gets loaded back and then as, as he's striding, he's actually moving towards the ball with his body. His front shoulder's under his chin. He's not stepping out. He's stepping more towards the pitcher. And he's staying closed until time to start a swing. His hands are not moving great there. They're still behind the body. But um, what he's about doing with his body is not compounding this error. So. This, he's got to get back to this move where his front shoulder moves towards the ball as he's getting ready to swing. <clears throat> and if his hands were working a little quicker here, he would have hit that ball a little bit further out front uh, instead of making contact here so deep. He's making contact with the ball right inside his front foot where he should be hitting that ball out here. If he'd hit that ball out there, it would have gone a lot further um, and it all has to do with his hands so that's the second part of what's going on so the first part is is um, we got to get him staying closed longer and um, moving his front shoulder towards the ball keeping his hip closed just staying closed and not stepping in the bucket not opening up too early now here's a Here's another one of those swings, and you can see probably the same time frame as the one on the left. You can see the same movement where he just sort of steps, never really gets any forward movement of his body towards the ball, 
and he's just sort of stepping towards third base, opening up before he ever starts his swing, and he's lost all his, his um, torque and bat speed as a result. Now, <clears throat> so first thing is, is get him staying closed in a stride. He's got to he's got to learn how to stay closed again. Keep his shoulder closed. Keep take that front shoulder, front foot towards the ball. So work on that. And uh, you might want to. What I might do and and how to work on that is set a ball up on a tee. You know, pretty far out front uh, to where he's got to get go towards the ball to actually be able to hit it and maybe put it out you know over the plate a little bit maybe even outside the way a little bit um make him where hit off the tee where he's got to step straight i even lots of times i'll put a um a barrier behind their foot like i'll put it out in this area right here out front of their foot um like a piece of foam or something, even with the back heel or maybe an inch or so behind the back heel so that when they step forward or when they step, they've got to step forward. They can't step back or they'll get land on that barrier. And I'll do that even when they're hitting in the cage. I'll put that barrier down there. Not something that would hurt them, but, but something that would be in their mind to keep them from doing that. So <clears throat> uh, a better stride. A more positive movement with the shoulder towards the ball. Now the other thing, and these are kind of separate things here, the other thing is is um, fixing his hands and getting his hands working better. So back to Ricky Weeks here. I want you to see what Ricky Weeks is doing with his hands. Watch in this sequence, watch how he is bringing his hands right towards the ball or right towards the pitcher bringing the knob right out towards the ball or towards the picture and basically what what he's doing is or what causes this is his hands are starting immediately forward uh, what gets kids in trouble if you look at Grayson is they don't start their hands soon enough in the swing actually their hands go back a little bit which is okay if they start forward but his hands, you can see how his body's moving and his hands haven't moved, they still haven't moved. Now they're finally getting away from his body. Uh, you can see how far away the, bar the barrel is from his shoulder at this point. Um, you can see there's several inches of, of clearance between the shoulder and the barrel. Uh, you can see how the hands here are behind the body. And if you go and put Ricky in this position, you can see how his hands are already moving out in front of his body. And you can see that the barrel is real close to his shoulder right here. Okay? It's still pointed up to the sky. It's not dropping down, and uh, which is what you want. You can see as he comes around, you can see the barrel is still close to the shoulder. So he's staying inside the ball because his hands are moving forward a lot better than Grayson's hands are. You can see Grayson's already dropping the bat and the bat's getting away from his shoulder. And that's, it's just harder to control that bat when it gets behind your, look how far on the, almost the whole bat is behind Grayson's body. Where with Ricky, uh, about half of the bat is behind the body. So he's got a lot more control of the bat like that. You, if you draw a line but, uh, uh, between, in the middle of his shoulder, it about it cuts the barrel in two about 50-50. And barrel, uh, Bryson's just letting the bat get behind his body too much. So again, same thing, hands moving out front better, barrel still close to the ball, I mean to the shoulder, um, and up a lot higher than in Grayson's. So basically the hands, Ricky's hands are working better. They are accelerating out front sooner. That's the, the key I think for kids to learn is they've got to start 
the hands forward sooner. They can't just let the hands sit there and stay stagnant. And because the body is moving, but the hands are getting disconnected from the body. The, the hands have got to stay out in front of the body. Now, I'm going to send you a couple other emails uh, with this one that will give you a couple of drills that I've used that have worked successfully to uh, help this situation here. One is a T-drill with two balls. Uh, I, I'm not going to explain it here because uh, the other you, know, you need to see it to understand it. The other is uh, putting the barrel against the shoulder and working with the barrel trying to stay against the shoulder longer. Um, and both of these um, these other emails will explain this better. But so that's basically it. Um, the first problem is is get him staying closed when he strides and striding. Striding closed, front shoulder to the ball, front shoulder tucked, uh, hip closed, and get staying in that closed position until he starts his swing. Number two, we got to get his hands more involved in the swing, rather than just his body pulling and pulling his hands through. We got to get him uh, understanding and how to use his hands, accelerating his hands immediately once his front foot lands his hands have got to start going forward which will make his swing shorter uh, allow him to have longer to decide whether to swing or not it's also going to give him a lot more power and one of the things you want to work on is uh, to, to help all this when they're hitting is notice how far out in front of uh, Ricky is hitting the ball. And that can be a, a, a good key. A lot of times kids who struggle with their hands let the ball get too deep. And um, I'm going to go back to this swing to show you. Now this is a, a better swing in terms of the body again moving forward. He steps open just a little bit, but notice the front shoulder's coming forward to the ball and it's staying torqued. He's in a better starting position there. But his hands, again, lag behind a little bit. You can see his hands are behind his body, the front arm straightening out, the barrel's way behind the body. And he hits this ball pretty good. Uh, he does get the barrel on the ball, but again, he's hitting the ball way too deep in the zone, even behind his front foot, where he should have hit this ball more out here again and it would have gone a whole lot further because you got more bat speed out there and so one of the things you can emphasize with him as he's practicing bp and all and even with t work is hitting the ball more out front near where the second line is the middle end pitch especially okay um that pretty much covers everything if you got any questions give me a call i'll send you those other two drill e emails and and then we can talk okay